very well synchronized. And for a very long time uh, people have thought that it's only be driven by uh, the clock. And what, what I think, and that is the, the part that I would like to, to focus on in the next uh, few years, is that uh, the clock gets feedback of uh, what we are doing. And that feedback will also change in the way in which the clock is working. And therefore, if we do not uh, behave in the way that our clock is uh, saving us, uh, for example, if we are active in the moment that we are supposed to sleep, or if we are eating at the moment that we are also uh, supposed to, uh, to sleep or not, not eating, at that moment, that feedback of uh, of food intake or that feedback of, uh, of activity will change our whole system in a way that then also pathology will develop. The brain is the most complex uh, organ that we have and to understand that complexity is a really enormous uh, task. I try to do is take a very simple part of the functioning of, uh, of the brain and, and try to understand it. And that, uh, let's say, interaction of our clock with our, uh, our body is uh, sufficiently complex for me.